Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be fitting the MST Performance Induction Kit to my BMW N55 engine. Now this induction kit can only be fitted to the later N55 engines which say M Performance on the actual engine cover. Now bearing in mind mine's an F20, which is the M135i, you can also purchase this for the M235i also. Now, nobody's actually done a video on this, and obviously, when I buy induction kits, I like to do the videos because the instructions ain't ever clear inside the box, and a lot of people will search on YouTube for how to actually install these because they're not very easy, especially when they come with the heat shields. So therefore, I am doing a video showing you guys how to install this, so if you do purchase it, you will then know how to actually install this to your M55 engine. So I'm not gonna talk anymore. Let's get onto this video and install the MST Performance Induction kit. What? God damn, get it done, will you? Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories. We run into New York, so you know. Okay, so as you see here, this is the MSD performance induction kit, and inside it is all packed up. You've got the heat shield, you've also got the new pipe that's going to go on for the install and you've also got all the fitting kit inside as well to go for the M55 engine. Now, if you see here, that's all the fitting kit that you're gonna need when fitting the induction system. And you've also got all the instructions as well here, which shows you how to fit it properly and easily on the car without having any hiccups as you go along. It's got every bolt there to, for the heat shield and in the end it will look something like what you see there. Now everything's in the box and we're going to go get it out and then start building it all up on the car. I might put this in time lapse and fast forwards because it can take a while to actually build and bolt everything up. Now if you'll see this is going to be the bottom part. This is where the intake is going to come through here and it will look something like that. It will lock into place just along there and it's got a rubber boot to protect it. So it'll end up looking something like that. Now, when it's in the engine, it will end up probably this side up and you'll end up with the case that goes on top like that to protect it from heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and fit it in the engine bay just there so you guys get to see what it's gonna look like. So as you see here, this is the first side, it's gonna be the top side and I'm installing one of the heat shield mounts here. You're gonna need a 10 mil ratchet to tighten these down and you just wanna tighten it down just very simply like that and turn it on until it goes tight and then lock it tight just like that and then once that's done that's your heat shield mount on already ready for the next one so we've now got another heat shield washer here latched onto this one now we're going to go ahead and install this into the car now i believe it goes in this way because the intake system comes in through that side so you're going to want to pull it down there like that but i am going to look at the instructions to see which way it does go because i ain't 100 percent sure Okay guys, so as you'll see here, that grommet that you just use just goes into that rubber piece here. And then all you do is bolt this, if you'll see there, to the intake duct here, which is the plastic intake duct. And then that will hold it steady for you to put the air filter through and then onto here. Now you wanna make sure you've got this other rubber piece here as well, because you're gonna need to bolt the other grommet instead to stead, make sure it's all steady and all secure on the actual intake system. Okay, so as you'll see here, we've now got the bolt located in here and it just bolts onto the plastic intake pipe right there. And if you'll see from behind, it just held on by a washer, 10 mil washer, 10 mil nut, and it just bolts straight up. And then this is how the first piece all secures in here. You'll see there, it just balances on the rubber grommet in there. And obviously we're gonna put the other one in there and then just close up the cap after once we've got the intake system on with the pipe. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is remove one of these Torx 30s because the pipe bolts to here. So we're going to release this Torx 30 bolt right here so we can get the intake pipe to run through and then push it through here before we put the air filter on. Now as you see here, we've got the pipe here. We're going to have to take the old map, math sensor off to put the math sensor back in here, which we'll do in a sec. First thing we're going to do is just align this properly. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is reinstall the math sensor. So, I'm just going to reinstall that right here. Okay. 
and that's now installed. Now we've got it ready to connect up after. Now that's all tightened down. You want to reconnect all your connectors. Now you're going to want to reinstall the bolt, your Torx 45 bolt, which is right here. So now that's all properly secured. Now what we'll go ahead and do is install the comb filter. Now when you do these, you want to position them down in case you have to unloosen it or tighten it. You can get to it very easily. And that's done. Now for this part, very straightforward. You just want to align it with the holes here. into place after the bolts are down this up again after releasing it and that's the induction kit fully completed okay guys so as you would have seen there i've now completed the mst performance induction kit install now i did purchase this off ebay at a cost of 353.99 therefore if you do want to go and purchase it i will link it in the description box below you guys can go and check it out or buy it if you have an m55 engine this is only applicable to the m55 engine and not the m54 if you need an m54 one they may have a different one for your car but this induction kit is strictly for the n55 engine only so i hope you guys have actually enjoyed this video this is bmw dr dean here thank you very much for watching and goodbye